This is how you do a proper bed bath. Introduce yourself and verify the client's identity using agency protocol. Explain to the client what you're going to do, why is it necessary, and how he or she can participate. Good morning, sir. My name is Hyacinth, your nurse for today. I am here to perform bed bath. Perform hand hygiene. Invite a family member or significant other to participate if requested by the client. Wear gloves. Offer the client a bed band or urinal, or as whether the client wishes to use the toilet. Remove gloves. During the bath, assess each area of the skin carefully. Prepare the bed and position the client appropriately. Assess the client move near you. This avoids training and promotes good body mechanics. It also ensures client safety. Place bath blanket over the top sheet. Remove the top sheet from under the bath blanket by starting at client's face. Put on gloves. Put some water in the basin and wet the wash glove. Clean the eyes of the client from inner to outer canthus. Use as stroke to clean face. Include ear in cleaning. Pat dry. Expose the arm, then place another bath towel and start cleaning. Make a bath meet with the washcloth. From the wrist to the forearm, up to the auxiliary area to promote good circulation. Pat dry. Place the client's hand in the basin. Assist the client if needed to wash, rinse, and dry the hands. Once done, reverse the coverings and repeat for the other forearm and hand. Exercise caution if an IV infusion is present and check its flow after moving the arm. Change the water in the basin. Put a bath blanket to a client's chest to provide privacy then start cleaning the chest. If the client is male, clean chest from one side to another. If the client is female, clean the breast starting from the nipple upward. Give special attention to the skin under the breast and any other skin folds, particularly if the client is overweight. Pat dry. Place bath towel lengthwise over the chest. Fold bath blanket down to the client's pubic area. This keeps the client warm while preventing unnecessary exposure of the chest. Next, expose the area and clean the abdomen. Rinse and dry well abdomen with your mitted hand using long firm stroke. Clean the navel or the umbilical area using the washcloth in a circular motion. Then fix the bath blanket and the top sheet. Change the water in the basin. Expose the leg by folding the bath blanket toward the other leg. Be careful to keep the perineum covered. Covering the perineum promotes privacy and maintains the client's dignity. Wash, rinse, and dry the leg using long, smooth, firm strokes from the ankle, from the knee, up to the thigh. Washing from the distant to proximal areas promotes circulation by stimulating venous blood flow. Pat dry. Change the water in the basin. Wash the feet in placing them in the basin of water. Pat dry. Reverse the coverings and repeat for the other leg. Assist the client in the prone position with head turned on the side. Place the bath towel lengthwise alongside the back and buttocks while keeping the client covered with the bath blanket as much as possible. Wash and dry the client's back, moving from the shoulders to the buttocks and the upper thighs. Use the S-stroke by cleaning the back of the client. 
When cleaning the buttocks, use the J-stroke. Pat dry. Assess the client to supine position and determine whether the client can wash the perineal area independently. If the client cannot do so, treat the client and wash the area. Remove and discard gloves if used. Help a client put on a clean gown or pajamas. Remove bath towel. Place the client in comfortable position. After care for the materials used, perform hand washing. Do proper documentation. This is how you do a proper oral care. Assess the client's need for self-care. Gather the materials needed. Identify the client and explain the procedure. Place the client in appropriate position. Good morning, sir. My name is Hyacinth, your nurse for today. I am here to perform oral care. Place a towel in the chest of the patient. Offer tissue paper if needed. Put on gloves. Offer the glass of water to allow the client to gargle and offer the basin. Assist the client to brush his teeth if the client can. If not, place the client in sideline position and start brushing the client's teeth. Assess for any soreness, bleeding gums, cheeks and mouth, broken teeth, and bad breath. Allow the client to gurgle, to rinse the mouth and offer again the basin. Offer mouth wash. Using the towel, pat dry the lips of client and remove it. Remove gloves. Place the client in comfortable position. Discard or wash the materials used. 